What's going on YouTube, it's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. And today we have a brand new phone on the channel. So this is the Oppo Find X2 Pro. And this is one of the two devices launched today and uh, well announced today. And this will be available from May, so you can order them and stuff like that. Uh, all that information will be in the description area. But for now, we're gonna unbox this and have a look at what it's all about, talk you through the specs as well. And uh, and then I'm gonna take this out of the buy in London today to take some photos and stuff. So I'll be sharing some of those shots on Twitter at Gadgets Boy. So do follow me on there. And if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification as well. So you'll be one of the first people to know when there's a video on this channel. Right, let's get on with it. Okay, so here's the package in itself, as you can see there. So on the front, you get, you get Oppo Find X2 Pro. Uh, one thing to note that this is a reviews, the reviewer's uh, edition. So on the side, you get Oppo, Oppo Find X2 on both sides, even though this is the Pro mo uh, model inside the package in itself. So when you get yours in your packaging, it should say Find X2 Pro. And uh, let's see what's inside. Okay, first step, you get greeted with Oppo. Uh, welcome pack there, so if I just take that off. And in here, is a silicone case, so do keep that. That will keep your phone nice and secure and uh, scratch free and so on. You get your safety guide in there as well and user manual, all the user stuff. And you got your SIM ejector tool there. So this is 5G ready and it's a not dual SIM at all as well. So this is running on Snapdragon processor. We'll go through that uh, a little bit more just in a second. Uh, see what color we got here. Oh wow, this is the nice leather looking, vegan leather looking version here, which is pretty cool. So if I just take that out. Oh, I'm loving this design, look at that. That looks really good. Okay, we'll come back to that in a second before I get too excited and carried away. So you got your VOOC charger in here as well. So this is 65 watt supercharged, so VOOC charge, so you'll be able to charge it within 38 minutes back up to full. Uh, it's got two pin as you can see there, because again, European, but I've got uh, an adapter for this, so I can plug it into a UK adapter to change it over. So this is Super VOOC 2.0, uh, which I'll talk more about in a second as well. In here, you also get a pair of in-ear headphones, which uh, are really good uh, from the previous edition, the previous versions that I've tried before. They look really good, and uh, there's not much to that really if I just uh, take that out there. Underneath that as well, don't, get, don't forget, you got your USB-C cable in there, so don't think that's just the headphones in there, so don't chuck it away and stuff, and you got some uh, earbuds tips there to fit different ear canal sizes, uh, which I'll try and see which one. It's perfect for my small ears. Um, so I'm just gonna put to the side some of this stuff and then we're gonna power it on. So this is the orange vegan leather version. It also comes in ceramic black as well, which you might have seen on my Twitter already, which I posted about uh, earlier on today and on my Instagram stories as well. So you can see the size there looks really nice. And uh, on the side, this side, we have the volume rockers on there. And if we turn it around to the other side, we have the power button uh, on its own sad and lowly on that side and uh, on the bottom here we have the USB-C port and the speaker grill so I think this has got stereo speaker as well I'm not sure uh, but yeah that's the speaker grill right at the bottom there and uh, on the back you got the Oppo logo nicely there which I really like reminds me of those uh, high-end leather bags with like the logo just nicely put on the back and then you got that camera array uh, which is on the back there as well. Uh, just setting this up at the moment, but while I do that, uh, to run through some of the specifications. So this is this supports 6 to 5 watts uh, Super VOOC 2.0 uh, fast charge. Uh, it's got Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 in their uh, mobile platform with X55 5G modem. So you should expect some really good speeds in terms of 5G speeds. Uh, well, when it comes to the UK properly, uh, we'll experience that. In terms of resolution in display itself, uh, this is running, uh, this has got the 120 hertz refresh rate and it's got that 240 hertz, 40 hertz uh, touch response uh, rate as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, the resolution itself is Quad HD Plus and uh, in terms of PPI, for those um, specification buffs out there, this is 513 PPI and its brightness is up to 1200 nits as well. So that's a lot of brightness right there for you, uh, for all your media consumption pleasure right there. So one thing you notice as well, if I just bring that closer, is that big camera uh, that you can see on the back there. So in terms of camera, you have 48, 48 megapixel uh, wide angle lens, you got 48 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and a 13 megapixel telephoto lens there for you as well, uh, which supports 10 times hybrid zoom. So you can zoom in and still be able to get usable content from that sort of uh, zoom range as well. Um, the sensor itself is a Sony IMX 
689. So that's quite new. And it's a customized flagship sensor uh, just for Oppo. So they can use that in here so you can actually get some really good shots. Again, I'll be taking this out uh, once I finish setting this up to, to share some pictures and stuff. Um, that's got OIS as well, uh, dual native OIS, and you got f1.7 large aperture. So this is good for low light photography. Uh, I think Mr. Who's the Boss took some not low light photography already, which I looked at earlier on Twitter. Even with the compression, it still looks it still looks really good. Uh, something to uh, check out for sure. For video as well, you can do 4K 60 frames per second, which is cool, and you can also do live HDR video recording. Something that. Uh, I actually value when it comes to capturing content on my smartphone. You'll be able to see it live while you're recording, so it's not something that you see afterwards, which is pretty cool. Uh, for battery, you get 4,260 milliamp hour battery. Again, this is something I'll put to test, but with Snapdragon processor in there, the latest one, you should be looking at a whole day uh, of using it without any problem at all. Uh, maybe a bit left uh, for the next day. But with Supercharged, SuperVOOC 2.0, you'll be able to charge this back up very quickly uh, with no issues at all. Software is running Android 10 and he's gone overlay on there. So he's got ColorOS 7.1. Uh, so this is uh, debut as well. So this is fresh uh, on the smartphone. So this is the first time consumers will be able to see uh, what ColorOS uh, 7.1 is all about. For storage, you get 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gig of internal storage in there. Uh, I'm not sure if you can expand uh, the storage in there. I don't think you can, uh, but we'll check that out as well for final reviews and whatnot. I'll, I can tweet about it as well. So make sure you follow me at Gadgets Boy uh, on there as well. In terms of pricing, you're looking at around £1,099 in the UK. Uh, so again, it'll be available uh, in orange, vegan leather and black ceramic as well uh, around uh, early May this year. So you'll be able to order it from then. Okay, the setup is complete and now I'm just importing data from my old uh, device or my current device actually. And uh, you can see there, ColorOS 7.1 uh, feels very fluid, very smooth as well. And that display settings as well. So if you go into settings here and we go all the way to display and brightness, um, you've got dark mode, which is available on here now as well, which is pretty cool. And uh, if we go down to the bottom here, you can change screen color mode. Um, you can change screen refresh rate, so you can have it auto select. So when you game in, it would know, and then it auto select that for you. Or by default, you can put it on 120 hertz, which I'm going to do now, and that should make it a lot more fluid and nicer to uh, operate and use as well. So at the moment, it's in dark mode, ends why you've got this uh, color scheme going on here, which looks really nice. Uh, in terms of security, you got fingerprint sensor, you got face unlock, and you can use normal password as well. Um, I'm still playing around with it, so there'll be a lot to learn about the device itself and stuff. So like split screen and game space and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I look forward to trying all that out. In terms of camera, so you can see what you've got there. You've got your zoom there. They've made it so that it's nicely seamless when you zoom, so it doesn't jump too much. So you can go up to 60, ti up to 60 times there, um, which is pr <laughs> that's, that's when you start to lose quality and stuff. So again, just go up to uh, lower ones uh, if you can. And uh, you've got wide suit, ultra wide angle lens there, which you can see for macro mode as well. It's there, you've got your portrait mode. Uh, you've got night mode as well. If we go all the way here, you've got night mode, which you can do uh, when you zoom as well. It's not just for the one times, so you can use all lenses for uh, night mode. And you've got the little, little thing there, which is tripod mode. So you can keep it steady. You get better quality uh, shot at nighttime. If you go back to uh, settings here, you've got HDR there. So you can tap that on and off or put it on auto. Uh, if I tap this, you can see other options that you've got. You've got 48 megapixel mode uh, right there. Uh, so if you go settings as well, you can see what else you got, like shutter speed, sorry, shutter sound, um, flip selfie and so on. And you can see your video resolution. So if you go video, you can do 4K at 60 frames per second. Um, if we go back out, uh, you got your audio effects, you've got slow-mo video resolution, which you can do up to 1080p, which for me, that's more than enough for super slow-mo or slow-mo in general. Now audio effects for 3D audio recording, and uh, voice, uh, sorry, video encoding as well, which you can change if you wish to do so. If we come back out, that's all there is, all there, is there. You've got AI as well. So again, this will just uh, help you get better colors maybe or select scenarios and whatnot. Uh, again, we'll, we'll test that out uh, for the final review. One thing I really like to see that every camera manufacturers do now, really most of them is the pro mode, expert mode. So you'll be able to change things like ISO, shutter speed, white balance, and so on. Looks really nice so far. I'm really liking this display. It looks really nice and it's nice and comfortable to hold in hand as well because of the form factor and the aspect ratio. And uh, I'm still in full awe of just how nice this is in this vegan leather color. It looks really cool and uh, it's not, I don't think I'm gonna be putting this device uh, in a case anytime soon just because of the beauty of it. I just wanna show it off. 
So that's it for the Oppo Find X2 Pro. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. As per usual, if you have any questions, let me know as well. Hit me up on Twitter at GadgetsBoy and, uh, and Instagram as well because I'll be sharing some photos from this device on there as well. Uh, as always, make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and hit that bell notification as well so you'll be one of the first people to know when there's a video on this channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.